ki khubor ka batisi tv lawan ra shapi da ka orange nissan loom so pho near fire brigade shillong admissions are open at bdw international school enroll now UMLA jangka pintar umkara konstituensi uba Alexander L. Hek haka sengi ba'ar jangka arfu lai terik benai rempang arajar arfu ar ula play pa'i ba'i ke Science and Technology Innovation Hub jangka school ba' Martin Luther Christian University ha um sauli shillong ya ka bala bay pisa da ka Science for Equity, Empowerment and Development Division jangka Department of Science and Technology ke Sorkar India. Haga jing pli yagani ka Science and Technology Innovation Hub la sakhilang de ka Principal Investigator ka Dr. Melari Shishan Nongrum ka Vice Chancellor jong ka Martin Luther Christian University ka Professor T.K. Kharbaman u TTC Marak bat u T. Mark ki nong hikai ki nong terai bat ki samla puli jong ka nika skulba. Dr. Vincent Dalong in 
Today we have Dr. Glenn Kirkwall as our Chancellor and Dr. Sam Mishak as our Pro-Chancellor with Dr. Eva Mon, a very dynamic young lady, as our Registrar. I took over as the Vice-Chancellor less than four months ago, that is on the 1st of November 2021. Yes, indeed. It has been 16 long years. The University had traversed through bumpy roads and challenging sessions. But it has risen above the difficult and trying times to be what it is today. Glory be to God. To forge ahead with its mission of contributing to the sustainable development of Meghalaya, the Northeast, and the country as a whole, by providing knowledge, skills, and values to students, not only from our state, but drawn from different parts of the Northeast and the country, to become global citizens, while upholding gender, ethnic and religious equity and conserving the biocultural heritage of the state and recognizing its Christian legacy and commitment. Today the university has 12 departments and three centers and we also hope to have another center of language and culture in the other wing of this campus very soon. The university has indeed a long, long way to go and we seek the support and cooperation of our friends and well-wishers to help us further traverse high heights in our efforts to continue achieving our goals and our mission. A happy Foundation Day to the Martin Luther Christian University. May God bless us all in our endeavors. I am Superman Papa Krau. Hakaba Kilakot in Kumkin and Nong Tray Kamshna. Hakajabur, Jugabur, Nilong Kungajia, it took away with Pan Kumno and Yaya and Takajing Dunkam, Hakaba, Yidon, Hagarika University. The Kungashno, I am the gentleman of Krau Hurgurta, Hakaba Kanika, Martin Luther University, Kawan Hakoka. Idea Kajuni, I am the gentleman of Krau. utilization and adaption of traditional knowledge, resources, and technological advances in post-harvest management and nutrition for empowering children, women, and youth in tribal Meghalaya. And for this project, I have Dr. Melodinia Marpana also, who's the co-investigator of this project. And this project has been funded by the Seed Division of the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. I think we'd like to know why, why have we conceptualized this project. We conceptualized this project and I'd like to thank the senior faculty who were at that time in 2020 together uh, discussing about the problems that we have in our society and what should we do. And one of the things at the very top is the livelihood which is based on agriculture. The income of per capita, which is just 48,383, uh, uh, 48, and we all know very well the health status of the children and women in Meghalaya. We have stunting, which is 46.5%, underweight of 26.6%, anemia among children, 45%, and even women 
uh, 15 to 45 years in the reproductive age, 53.8% are anemic, and these are the latest figures from the National Family Health Survey of 1920. And in that context, we also are very rich uh, uh, with the natural resources. We, uh, we are rich in biodiversity, and some of the studies have revealed that there are 48 varieties of fruits, and these are very conservative estimates of, uh, of the uh, produce that we have. We have 14 uh, vegetables, 219 wild edibles, and many other crops like plantation crops, spices, and medicinal plants. I am very happy that this STI hubs of the Martin Luther King University has been brought to my constituency. This is the Upsauri, also for under my constituency, which will bring immense benefits to many of the residents and the neighboring areas of this locality, which will be getting directly and indirectly job and employment. Not only employment, you will be also the employability. The employers will get give employment to many others. Uh, I hope uh, many of us, even me, myself, we being the parents, sometimes we like to produce a good scholar and a good student, but we forgot in our life to produce a good human being. The importance of today we have seen, so many youths have become very violent, so many things have gone out of, this distract the mind, which we need to inculcate in the minds of our youths today to be a good human being. So therefore, I appeal to this institute, this university, we should bring good scholar, of course, no doubt of it, but also a good human being to be produced from these institutions. In the impressive that MLS, MLCU is implementing a project that will improve the health status and create employability through the capacity building, training program, and fellowship programs. The fellowship program of the STI hubs will help you, especially the rural youth, to start a business. Even though they are starting only in food production, but I believe this hub will think of another program that will be implemented to support entrepreneurship. Though this project will see 10 microprocessing units in a rural Reboy district that will, be, will process food producers and it will provide employability to the people in the rural areas. I am told that STI Hub is using green technology such as a black and grey water recycling system and solar dehydrator. I am glad to hear for the first time the installation of the grey and black water such system is required in our society. I am glad that MLCU has this technology that contributes to sustainability and are environment friendly. I'm glad that we have the university like MLCU that work in the communities where people are benefiting from the various activities and they conduct. I hope that they will continue to work towards the community and development and today and giving my assurance that we will provide my support to MLCU. From the chamber, sir, it goes to this primary tank. This primary tank, you can see the water is dirty here. The primary tank. So from here, sir, the uh, the particles, the dust, and all it gets accumulated down 
and only the water will pass through this effluent filter. This effluent filter, the function is it prevents the coarse particles from entering to this bioreactor and the rest of the stuff remains here. So only the water will come here after passing through the effluent filter. So here we can see there is a tipping tray. So when the water comes out from there, it don't just flow into one part of the uh, of this bioreactor. So this tipping tray, it balances the water so that it equally divides the water everywhere, so that it touches the bio uh, the bio media which is present, which does the process of cleaning. So in this part of the bioreactor, we have the aerobic process which happens. So because of that, this monoblock does not require electricity. It only uh, functions through the aerobic process. For that, we have this uh, pipe out here behind this lid, uh, where where the air inlet will come in for the process of oxygen to enter. And through this uh, pipe, sir, the air outlet. So the oxygen process goes out from here and the water from this side.